Hi Aqua, welcome back. I hope you guys are doing well today. This is gonna be for my um this is gonna be for my aquas. Uh anywhere in your chart where you have aqua, this uh could be for you. Okay. <laughs> Okay, Aqua. How y'all doing? Why the fuck every time I get on y'all reading, it's, it's goofy time. It's fun time. What have y'all been doing? Like, have y'all been laughing, having a good time? Like, what is up? Because, <laughs> I, I don't know. I do not know, honey. But, um, okay. So, this is going to be for anybody with Aqua placements. Okay, make sure you guys flip and switch the rows. Take what resonates. Leave what doesn't fit for your situation, guys. Thank you all so much for the love, the support your donations and your super chats super thanks the love never goes unnoticed and i'm returning that back to y'all tenfold okay anything you guys need to know about me is going to be down below in the description box and please be aware of the fake pages that are on here and on any other social media platforms okay so let's see aqua let's see what's going on for my aquas let's see Spirit guys, angels, ancestors, ascended masters, gods and goddesses, please return any spell work, any dark magic that is sent to harm Aqua and their loved ones. Me and my loved ones return it back to the sender. Block any interferences that could be stopped from the messages from coming through. Clear, concise, and precise messages for my Aquas and protect me as I channel the messages for Aquarius. So let's see, some of you guys could be going to a show. This could be like... I'm hearing like live entertainment. So you could just be like going out to eat or going somewhere nice and they have a live band or something. Or you could be going to like a concert or something like that. You're going to maybe an event. Okay, yeah, the Empress, Taurus, Libra. You could have in your chart. Eight of Wands. Yeah, this could be traveling. You could be traveling to go somewhere. You're doing something. <laughs> Somebody going somewhere. What, what else? What's going on for Aqua? Yeah, look at the events. The Four of Wands, it's an event, honey. That's confirmation. Now, it might not be a band or anything, but there's an event taking place. <laughs> the world in the reverse came out like this for Gemini first. So you guys could be dealing with a Gemini. Okay, we got Aries, Venus with the Four of Wands. There could be a delay or maybe it's a pushback to an event or something like that. But I feel like you've, you've, you've accomplished something, but something else failed somewhere. Okay, for some of you, this could be like a reunion of some sort like a cycle hasn't closed out so you're 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 coming into some sort of union with someone or um <clears throat> something about your stability and your security could be coming up to aquarius some of y'all could be moving getting a new home okay or you just leveled up in your journey you've um graduated maybe you've got you're getting ready to graduate from school or you're getting ready to um you pass some sort of test but this is definitely a new contract too whatever this is yeah the six of pentacles Taurus moon so equal give and take reciprocity definitely something about community some of you guys are really finding your soul tribe okay somebody here could be getting a new job more money you're you're really in this position of power are you getting ready to be but something is equal there's equality here <clears throat> okay this is nice what else Some of y'all could be attending a wedding or something. We got the Six of Swords, Aquarius, Mercury. We don't need, let me see something. Hold on, Aqua. My bad, Aqua. I had to turn that air back on. It's hot, honey. I don't like being cold, but I don't like being like too hot. Not in the house anyway. <laughs> but anyways, Aquarius, Mercury here with the Six of Swords. Yeah, that's travel, relocation. Um, maybe you're accepting a lesson. You're moving, you're moving on from something too. Something is not over somewhere. Same shit I got for Gemini. But I feel like you're moving into peaceful and calmer waters. There's an event or some some you're going somewhere, Aqua. You're going somewhere. What else? Seven of Cups. It's 
Scorpio, Venus. There's something that you're thinking about. You could be fantasizing about this or you could be confused at how to like execute a plan. You could be overanalyzing or this is like wishful thinking. You could also be procrastinating. Okay, on something. Or somebody confused as to how something is happening for you. We're going to see what that is. But there could be a lot of options or choices that you have. Like a, a lot of uh, new doors is opening up for you, possibly. Yeah. Let's see what else. I see 444 in here. So you're protected and you're on the right path. Okay. You're the Knight of Pentacles. Virgo. guys are just like you're getting ready to go somewhere but you're like you don't know how it's gonna turn out you don't know how something gonna play out or if you're saying something you don't know what somebody gonna say or something like that yeah six of swords six of cups six of swords six of pentacles maybe i mean i mean <laughs> some of y'all are, are getting ready to like travel to get a new job or something maybe you have a new job somewhere Okay, something is like trying to come together. Yeah, the Queen of Pentacles. What is that doing? Let's see. There you are, Aqua, with the star. So let's see. Knight of Pentacles is like someone that's responsible. They're organized. They're very supportive. Let's see. Mm -hmm. This could be about like uh, housing or something that you're doing. Let's see. What's the word in the reverse? Yeah, the lovers. Exactly. The word in the reverse with the lovers. Gemini energy. Go watch Gemini's reading. So this is you... Um making a major choice or a major decision. I feel like you did make a major decision. Yeah, confirmation that you made a major decision here. And I feel like uh, you're choosing a connection here that still is going to be successful in some way. You're letting go of one or you're healing from one to allow new connections to come in, new loves to come in or whatever. What's the world in the reverse with the lovers? I feel like this is going to, this is a union. Yeah, the world upright child. That's a new beginning. We have 21, 21 here. 333, three, three, you guys could be seeing, or somebody could be 33. Okay, 21, that's three. That's the Empress. So you could be going towards your Empress here, Aquarius, or they coming towards you or something like that. But definitely, I feel like two people are coming into union or something. Something is balancing out here. You're choosing the right person with the world and the lovers. This feels like something already coming together. Like this is wholeness, completion. Definitely could be travel. Like maybe you and this person could live at a distance or some shit. But hmm. well, you're making a major decision when it comes down to your career, your money. I feel like you know that you're getting ready to have a lot of opportunities somewhere. You just got to take the leap of faith to do it. Like... It's something like that. Yeah, so the cycle is coming to a close. And then there's new connections that are coming in. When one door closes and another one opens here. So that's what's happening. What's the lovers? Yeah, the six of wands and the knight of pentacles. Yeah, this is you. I feel like this is you finishing something that you started with somebody. There's going to be a new cycle for a connection that's already present. It's what I'm getting. Now, there could have been like a third party or you had to choose like, maybe you had to choose like, are you going to open your heart or you're going to keep your heart closed? You know what I'm saying? Like, or it could have been a part, another person here. Maybe you had to take care of family with the four wands. That's family or something like that. But I feel like you finally made a decision. The Six of Wands and the Knight of Pentacles. And this is definitely the right decision. I feel like wherever you're going or whoever you're going towards or whoever you're getting ready to connect with, 
there's going to lead to it's going to lead to abundance like a lot of it the knight of pentacles i feel like you already working hard or somebody's already a very hard worker like they mean business when they work so you're just going to skyrocket from there wherever the fuck you going <laughs> wherever you go it's going to be a lot of balance you got a page wands like so this could be a confirmation reading for somebody maybe you need a bit of clarity but um What's the four of wands here? So yeah, I feel like there's a victory, there's success, there's recognition, rewards for you as you move forward into something. What's the four of wands? Yeah, the wheel, exactly. Yeah, something, this is nice. This is like a faded meeting, a faded event. My stomach just turned too. So whatever this is requires you to have confidence or uh, I don't know. Hey, what are you doing? What are you doing? Okay, whatever. What's the what's the four wands and the wheel of fortune? He stay talking back to me. What's the four wands wheel of fortune? The page of pentacles in the reverse. So, yeah, that's procrastination. That's like you procrastinating on something. Something here is fated to happen. Now my stomach is turning again. Like, this this requires you to have some sort of, like, confidence to do this. Whatever this is, this could also be somebody spying on, like, whatever you're destined to be doing or whatever. Page of Pentacles, Reverse, definitely dark magic. But I feel like this is more so of you procrastinating on something. This could be you, I don't know, maybe you have a project due and you're procrastinating on it or... You're procrastinating on studying something, getting started on something. Maybe you don't have enough knowledge on it to do it. Maybe you need a partner to do this. Okay, what's the Page of Pentacles reverse? You need a partner to execute something. Yeah, the Seven of Cups. What's this Page of Pentacles reverse Seven of Cups? The Five of Cups. Okay, yeah. All right, so that, that really don't feel like you. You got too much good shit coming in. I don't feel like this is you. Or maybe, you know, it could be you. Maybe you're looking back at the past and a few things happened that you weren't too proud of. And you're like confused on how to execute something. So you procrastinate. But something is fated to happen. Like, I don't know. But then again, there could be like somebody here doing magic. They're trying to cause an illusion or they're projecting a lot of sadness and shit like that onto you to confuse you or whatever. <clears throat> or somebody's here. Somebody planned. It didn't fucking work. Page of Pentacles in reverse is an unworkable plan. Okay, it's not working. So I feel like somebody's sitting in sadness or regret. What's the wheel? You got abundance coming in. Yeah, child, the sun, like Leo energy. Something here that's coming in for you is getting ready to make you very happy. Very, very happy, very childlike. This is like joyous, fun times. Like you're free of something. So now the wheel can turn for you and somebody's left and they're stuck in an illusion. Yeah, five of wands, the, the moon. Somebody's trying to cause chaos and shit behind the scenes or... They're trying to confuse you, and I feel like you're not confused at all. Okay. I feel like you're very optimistic. You're very happy. Or that's how you need to stay. What's the Six of Pentacles? Yep, the moon. Wow, we got the sun and the moon here. The sun and the moon, so a great balance. Twins. What's the Six of Pentacles with the moon? Cancer Pisces. The Chariot. Yeah, so you could be keeping your move silent here, Aqua. Like, you could be moving moving forward in silence, or you definitely could be traveling. There's something here about you getting a new job somewhere. You got a new job somewhere, or Spirit is just bringing in help from different sources, different people, like to help you move forward or something. I just feel like something is like unblocked just for sure. <laughs> just very. You're following your intuition with the moon. This could be obviously like fear, but I just feel like this is more so you being silent and just listening to your inner voice. Yeah, page of cups. Yeah, knight of cups. Exactly. Let me see. What's the... um. 
but the chariot is definitely travel is determination oh, okay that's what i was feeling in my gut your solar plexus the moon and the the chariot this is your solar plexus chakra doing something <laughs> this is you building strength and confidence and endurance here you're working through like your fears maybe when it comes down to like your money or you worrying about money i feel like there's a lack of consciousness that could be leaving your your energy field this could be maybe you've had issues with that in the past like you're used to being like in poverty or you're not used to an equal give and take connection you're not used to somebody giving to you helping you or whatever but i feel like you're growing to understand that you deserve help you deserve to be given to so something is balancing out there this could be like your self-esteem what's the what's the moon Mm, yeah, because I feel like now it's time for you to connect with the right people to help you with your money. And you need to start speaking up. Like, if you need help with something, you're going to have to speak up about it. Yeah, the Queen of Pentacles. Exactly. So you could be you could be scared to talk to this Queen of Pentacles. This Queen of Pentacles could be somebody that's very resourceful. They're in a position of power. They're in a position to help you. Whoever this Queen of Pentacles is. This could be a, somebody that's a very good business. They're very business savvy. Very organized, very successful, you know, very welcoming, nurturing, giving, kind. What's the, the moon with the Queen of Pentacles? Yeah, okay, the Queen of Cups in the reverse. <clears throat> we have the Queen of Cups in the reverse for Gemini. <laughs> My cat pulling out all that stuff, child, whatever. <laughs> whatever, but... um. So this Queen of Cups in the reverse is someone that's very vindictive or very spiteful. I feel like there's something in you that thinks that this person, Smoke, I see you. Why are you turning around like that? Like you sneaking. I can hear what you're doing, honey. It's like, I see your ass. <laughs> like He think he's so slick, bro. Whatever. But, um... There's something about like you overextending yourself or or you okay, so I'm getting a lot of messages. I'm trying to figure out how to say it. First of all, you could be thinking that this Queen of Cups don't have any compassion or empathy towards you and something is I mean this Queen of Pentacles I meant. You could be thinking that this Queen of Pentacles is a Queen of Cups in the reverse like you're thinking that because maybe y'all have had a falling out in the past or something didn't go too well with them in the past that you think that they're going to be nasty to you or they don't have any compassion towards you or love towards you or whatever you some of y'all could even be scared because maybe you have a detachment kind of like style of being like Aquarius that is you you're very detached you like your space I like my space too <laughs> like so I feel I don't want nobody breathing down my back even if I love you give me my space bro but you know I feel like um, <clears throat> this Queen of Cups could be somebody that you dated in the past. Mm. Maybe you were being deceptive about this Queen of Cups in the reverse. Maybe you didn't say the truth, tell the truth about this person. This person could be very vindictive, very spiteful, very greedy, and um, very emotionally abusive. So this could be what you were hiding or something like that. Or you're making moves in the silence because you know that this Queen of Cups in the reverse is on some fuck shit. Who this? I feel like you know somebody too is trying to cause an illusion because they could be trying to come up as the Queen of Pentacles, but they're really the Queen of Cups in the reverse. Okay, like, but let's see. What's Queen of Cups reverse? Yeah, this is who you're moving on from. Six of Swords here twice. You could be departing from this person and leaving them out in the cold. They could be asking you for money or asking you for help. Whoever this is. And I feel like, look at how tight you're holding on to this Knight of Pentacles. I mean, this damn pinnacle. 
They're like, no. I feel like you leaving this person by themselves because they codependent. They need to heal just like you did or whatever. So you could be moving away from this person. You accepted that that's who they are and you're leaving. What's the Queen of Pentacles? Hold on. Get your ass. You know you're not supposed to be up there. No, sir. Don't even start it. No, I don't want to hear that. Don't start it. Don't get up there where I be cooking my food at. You know better. No. I don't care. You know better than to be up there. Go sit down. Go sit down. Bye. That's why he be talking back because I talk to him like he a human. Because he know better. He know I'm not playing with him. Don't get up there where I be cooking and shit. I mean, look, I'm not the typical kind of motherfucker. Like, I love me some pets. I love animals. But, honey, being in the kitchen where I cook, it's a no. It's a hell no. Not on my stove and shit, child. Bye. But anyways. what's Okay, so what's this Queen of Pentacles? If you want to go in there, you can go in there. Go on. What's Queen of Pentacles? Yeah, the devil. What's the Queen of Pentacles? Capricorn energy. Wow, okay, yeah, the Queen of Pentacles. Yeah, in the reverse. <laughs> um Okay, so Divine Feminine, if you're this Queen of Pentacles, I feel like you had two people obsessed with you. For some of you, this is somebody that you used to be with. Okay. That's obsessed with you. And then we have this Queen of Cups in the reverse. That's obsessed with you as well because this whoever this is could be coming towards you and leaving this Queen of Cups in the, rever uh, in the reverse in the past. Okay. I feel like um, this King of Pentacles in the reverse could be with a clingy king, Queen of Cups in the reverse. This person is still obsessed with you. Like with the moon right there, I feel like you already know this. Yeah, this is somebody here that is greedy or selfish. Very greedy, very selfish. They're very, um, they exploit you and shit like that. I feel like they with somebody that's clingy or needy or whatever the fuck this is. Or this is like some sort of, maybe this could be your masculine needing to tell you that this is why they couldn't, you know, they didn't have stability stability at the time because they were connected to a queen of cups in the reverse. That could be when somebody is not telling you about their finances or something like that. Somebody could be trying to <clears throat> gather the strength and the courage to tell you this because somebody about, they're telling you about their connection to this queen of cups reverse. How they were draining their pockets or whatever this is. I feel like too, this person is scared of, yeah. I feel like somebody is scared, either it's you or them. Somebody is scared that they're going to end up broke again. They're scared that they could be seeing you as something like right now, but it's going to switch. Like somebody is really scared to like get, put their all into something. Because... Of something that happened to them in the past. Mm. They scared that like if you help them. If, especially if you're a woman. If you help them or give them shit. That you're going to be. um, You're going to throw it back in their face later. Or when y'all have a falling out. You know. Because it ain't nothing going to be perfect. But when y'all have a falling out. Then you're going to like take them for everything that they got. Or be vindictive or nasty. Or like start getting clingy. Like if they start actually like you know pouring into you you're gonna get like toxic like something gonna switch i feel like that's what they're used to or something but that's not true it's an illusion with the moon you're not like that at all they used the queen of cups in the reverse assholes so this could be somebody fear mm. but if that's not the case you could have a king of pentacles in your energy. Somebody you was with from your past that is greedy and obsessed with money and shit like that. This person is with a queen of cups in the fucking reverse. 
that's where they were guided to. That's where they were guided to go. And I feel like you're moving on from the both of their ass. That's their new bitch. I feel like you don't give a fuck about them or what they got going on. Somebody here is still obsessed with you. And oh well. <laughs> like, oh well. <clears throat> child what the fuck <laughs> what's the chariot yeah the empress in the reverse yeah somebody is we got Taurus Libra here with the empress in the reverse mm. so somebody's moving on from like a bait like a mother figure <clears throat> You know, Aquarius, spirit is really leading you down a path. If this is you, like, confused right now, I feel like the spirit is leading you to somebody that's really going to help you out. I just feel like you need to be open to the help and get out of your head about your past or the bitches that you dated in your past, they raggedy as fuck. This Queen of Pentacles, they're not like that. They're not like that. The Empress in the reverse is somebody that is very distorted. This is someone that is insecure. They nag all fucking day. They lazy as fuck. You can't grow shit with them. You can't do shit with them. So I feel like you could be trying to gather the strength and the courage to lead this person behind or you already did or whatever. Or that's the challenge for you or something. But yeah, be open, be flexible. That's the right thing to do. Be open, be flexible. Take the help when you need it because... You never know who you're going to meet. Yeah, the Queen of Swords, the Six of Cups, I mean, the Six of Pentacles. Like, what's these Six of Swords right here? <clears throat> what's the Six of Swords right here, Spirit with the higher thing? <clears throat> Sorry. Okay, Queen of Swords came out in the Six of Pentacles. Taurus Moon, we got the Six of Pentacles twice. You could be marrying somebody, Aquarius, so you and this person. Yeah, I feel like you could be getting ready to work with somebody that's a successful businessman or woman. But you need to build the confidence to do it because you might not be in the best spot financial-wise. But I feel like you need to be open to it, though. Because, I mean, you got to make new connections. You know what I'm saying? Especially for, I guess, for whatever kind of business you want to do or whatever idea you got. You got to be open to it. Six of Pentacles is somebody that's generous. They will help you. And they're they're fair. They're just. They're kind. They're not going to... they just them. They're going to set clear boundaries. Like, they're going to tell you how they feel. They, they really give you good advice and things like that. Like, whoever you, you're dealing with is not... um Or whoever you're getting ready to deal with is not your past... Okay. Somebody don't abuse their power. Somebody's really wise with the Hierophant to the Queen of Swords. Somebody's really wise. They're a wise counsel, a leader, and whatever the fuck they do. Or they took charge of their life. So they could be somebody that's very inspirational. Somebody could speak out for work or something. But I feel like if you take this person's advice, you could be in this high priest energy or this is them as a high priest. I don't know, but let, let me see. Somebody could be going to a library. Somebody works in a library. I'm seeing like the Akashic Records. So this is somebody that's in your Akashic Records. Okay, what's the Hierophant? Yeah, the Three of Swords. Libra, Saturn. What's the Hierophant with the Three of Swords? Yeah, the Knight of Cups in the reverse. Okay. Yeah, somebody here is obsessed with you. There's a lot of obsessed shit going on here. Knight of Cups reverse with the Three of Swords. Somebody's heartbroken. They're obsessed. They, they just they're acting a damn fool. <laughs> Whoever this is is heartbroken as fuck. And um, they could be like trying to cause trouble. But I feel like something is balanced out in your energy now to where though like this person, they can't keep doing the spell work or they can't keep acting like that. Or they can, but I feel like it's not penetrating you at all. Like somebody here tripping. They are. 
I feel like too, somebody trying to stay in your energy because you're the breadwinner. This could be a karmic masculine right here that I'm talking about now that's obsessed with this damn queen of pentacles. Like, in their money, their stability, their security. I feel like you're real quiet or something is hidden about that because somebody here really be, they pocket watch. Them and this empress in the reverse, queen of cups in the reverse, or I don't know, these are y'all karmics here, whoever these people are, but... With the Knight of Cups in the reverse, I feel like uh, somebody's just obsessed because you're standing on business here or you're calling their ass out or something. I feel like you could be, you could too be uh, looking at somebody because y'all got similarities. Y'all have the same story. Okay, so if you are scared to go to somebody and like ask them for help for some, or something like that or really like, you know, get to know them or whatever they can tell you their story you tell them uh you you can tell them your story and they'll tell you theirs you know y'all got the same story or y'all been through kind of like the same thing what's this um i feel like there's a lesson here too about self-sabotaging because Knight of Cups in Reverse could be somebody that's non-confrontational. But something you probably do need to confront. You're breaking your own heart if you don't confront it. Okay? Or this is this damn comic. I don't know. I feel like this person is mad because you could be getting ready to go towards somebody. Or vice versa. Like, but whatever. What's the... I feel like you and this person are setting boundaries in your life. Because the Knight of Cups in Reverse too could be a lot of motherfuckers that are not genuine with their feelings they're ingenuine they just want to have a one-night stand and shit like that this, this this is over with the six of swords is a lesson that's been learned what else was the six of swords at yeah right here yeah like somebody has learned a lesson you've learned your lesson here you're not going backwards or you're not going back to these obsessed fucking creeps i feel like they didn't already show the show, showed your ass their true colors you're over it what's the queen of swords you could be learning how to set boundaries. Yeah, speak up for yourself. Page of Swords here. Or this is you. Yeah, look, the King of Swords. There, there needs to be like a conversation between you and somebody. Yeah, like... What's the Six of Pentacles? The Tower. What's Six of Pentacles Tower? So this tower, yeah, the five of swords, the high priestess and the ten of swords, nine of cups. <laughs> Aries, Scorpio, we got uh, Aquarius, Venus here. So, yeah, now we have the high priestess. Definitely counterparts is here for sure. Um, You and somebody are mirroring each other, like heavy. Y'all doing the same shit. You're both addressing your deepest fears or something like that definitely strong twins five of swords is definitely like standing up for yourself fighting back this could even be like a victory <clears throat> something is coming to light too about how somebody is trying to win at all costs or they uh, I feel like you're realizing somebody's abusive. They're abusive and they, they play a lot of like head games and shit. Okay. Somebody too feel like you don't see their ass either. They feel like what they're trying to do is like mirror your, and this could be a comic that I'm talking about. They're trying to mirror you. They're like, okay, well, if you don't say nothing, I'm not going to say nothing. But really in, deep down inside, they heartbroken, they sad as fuck. But it's like, okay, well, if you don't say nothing, I'm not going to say nothing. But it's like, bitch, I don't need to say anything because I'm not the one on some fuck shit. It's you, bitch. It's you on the fuck shit. You need to say something. I'm not going to say anything because I can sit like this all day. You feel what I'm saying? Like, I can sit and be quiet all day. What the fuck I need to say something for? I see you already. Hello? <laughs> I feel like you're just laughing at somebody because they look dumb. Somebody here getting hit with a tower because they try to be funny. And they see that you're in some sort of position of power or something like that. Or you have somebody that's really going to help you out and, and level you out and just help you move forward with your life. And they mad about it. It's like somebody don't want you to be supported. But you deserve to be supported. 
Like, get the fuck out of here. What's this? Uh, Somebody here could be going through a divorce, too, because somebody's a cheater. They sleeping around, having one-night stands and shit. I feel like somebody's over it. What's the Seven of Cups? Try not to scratch, because I got my makeup on. Yeah, the Nine of Pentacles reversed, Nine of Wands reversed. Nine, 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 or 99 could be significant. <laughs> Virgo, Venus, we got Sag, Moon. So somebody here is stuck. They had a stalemate. They sitting in a bunch of poverty. Nine of Pentacles reversed with a scamming ass. Yeah, somebody is heartbroken too about how someone revoked their offer. Somebody revoked their offer here. And now they crying. Somebody revoked their offer. They broke up with their ass. And that was it. That was it. So... Mm, but then nine of wands and nine of pentacles in reverse somebody here wanted to marry someone for money or whoever this is they live beyond their means very greedy person somebody's in debt really bad they overspend to look a certain way <laughs> mm. what a mess so they got a stalemate whoever this is too they got a chip on their shoulder they mad as fuck like they're mad What's this nine of wands reverse? Somebody here is just, they just fucked up. Yeah, the king of cups. What's nine of wands reverse, king of cups? Page of wands. Excuse me. Yeah, we got this King of Cups right here and we got the Queen of Cups in the reverse. So, I feel like um, there's this masculine here. It could be a Scorpio, Aries, Leo, Sag. This person is feeling empowered and confident to express their feelings or they're following their heart here. Okay. And taking action on whatever plans that they have. Really listening to their intuition here. They're, the Nine of Wands in the reverse could be like the last one standing in a situation. You could be getting ready to get communication from somebody that got feelings for you. It's this person. Okay. Somebody has some sort of new exciting plans or this is a text message, phone call, email, whatever. Yeah, this is them letting their guards down. Nine of Wands. Not being defensive or not feeling like they have to protect themselves. They feel safe. Yeah, to be vulnerable. What's the Nine of Pentacles reverse? And somebody's like confused that's a yeah now we got the page of cups in reverse yeah whoever this is, is is jealous they're jealous they're envious they're hateful somebody that's refusing to do the inner child healing that they need to do and they they don't want to be seen a certain way so they keep trying to cause illusions or they, they don't want to be seen for who they actually are very codependent and a user that's what they don't want to be seen as this could be a karmic feminine I'm switching back over to. I see a karmic masculine. It's a lot coming out about y'all karmic people <laughs> that y'all have dealt with. Now that something has equally balanced out in your energy and shit like that, it, people are getting exposed, just period. Hmm. Somebody losing their spiritual gifts too. They can't even see shit. Child, what's the Knight of Pentacles? Yeah, the Emperor. What's the Knight of Pentacles Emperor? Queen of Wands. Aries, strong Aries right here. The Emperor with the Queen of Wands. What's this, um, what's this Emperor? The Ace of Cups. Yeah, this emperor is, is opening themselves up to new love. Yeah, we got the empress to the emperor upright. There's definitely a lot of masculine energy here. Some This masculine, man or woman, I guess, but I'm actually getting a man. But this masculine here is really stepping into their power. I feel like this queen of cups in the reverse up here. It was trying to set this damn man up here with a bad business offer, a bad business deal. Could be for some of you. Mm. 
Yeah, that's why the Six of Pentacles is here twice. This Six of Pentacles is over here. What they're trying to do is cause conflict and miscommunication between you and the person that you should be getting help from, Aquarius. This Six of Pentacles up here is a scam. It's an illusion. And I feel like that's what you're moving away from or you need to. Because I feel like whatever this is, is a setup. You can have like a group of friends or people in your family that's trying to kind of like get you into some sort of like get rich quick schemes or they're trying to set you up. They're trying to like set you up here. And there's something that could be off maybe about this Queen of Pentacles that's here. They working with this King of Pentacles in the reverse or something like that. Something is here about a setup here. Somebody is playing nasty, dirty games. Your baby mama trying to set you up or whatever they doing with these people. It's something like that that's going on. Seven of Cups is here twice too. Seven, seven, seven. Okay, you're being warned about some shit. Something is an illusion. I feel like you see it. Yeah, somebody's like a loser. What's the uh what's the Queen of Wands right here? Eight of Pentacles and the Eight of Swords. You guys would be seeing eight eight eight. So I feel like with you listening to your intuition, I feel like you're seeing the illusion. With you listening to your intuition, I feel like you are gaining the, the strength to get on your person's level. Instead of like, obviously, divine masculines, they never going to think about bringing they, they, um, they divine feminine down. But I'm saying like, I feel like you'd rather grow and change your ways and just like be whatever your divine feminine you know what i'm saying whatever you're meant to be but be the man that your feminine needs you to be in order for y'all to come up together versus you getting risk getting with somebody that's trying to like take you for everything you got basically like somebody really trying to set you up because they bitter they mad as fuck and i feel like they hide that they bitter they upset or whatever this is like dead ass <sighs> Somebody is like, they're doing the most here to try to like hide how somebody is or to hide to hide your person because there could be some sort of illusion over your person to make you think like, oh, they're just a hoe <laughs> or oh, they're doing something other than what they're showing you that they're doing. Like it's an illusion. It's to cause you to self-sabotage. There could be new love getting ready to come into your life too. That's a trick of the enemy because I feel like your counterpart is showing up. Your counterpart is here. The person you you know that your intuition keep guiding you back to, not the karmics, but the person that you, your soul feels good with. Like you feel comfortable with that person. Like you actually feel good with them. It keep coming up for a reason. That's because that's your person. Not these hoes, not the one that gets loud, belligerent, they act a damn fool, you arguing with them all fucking day. They are karmic. Okay, they are karmic. The person that don't sit up there and argue with you, you just set they set clear boundaries with you and going about their business. That's the person you need to be talking to. <laughs> like, what the fuck? Not these money hungry beggar ass hoes. <clears throat> Mm hmm. 818 is on the clock. You guys will be seeing those synchronicities. And I just feel like it's shadow work here. It's like that needs to be done because this person could intimidate you a little bit or you intimidate them with the Queen of Wands. It's like somebody is just very fiery or they're very confident. They're very passionate. Like, but they're very focused on their work. Like, you could be scared because you're not used to a person like this. You're used to these insecure hoes. You're used to hoes that are insecure. That, you know what I'm saying? <clears throat> that get on your nerves. <laughs> you, you're not used to independent women or men or whatever this is. So, that, that's like something that you need to do or work, work with or uh, work on, <laughs> rather, internally. Or you're working on it now. But, um, <clears throat> 
Somebody's trying to keep you stuck. Somebody's trying to keep this divine feminine stuck too. Like they're trying to cause confusion between you and your soulmate, like your actual person, your twin. They're trying to cause confusion there. They're trying to cause illusions, confusion, because they're trying to keep y'all two apart. That's what you need to see. Or maybe you see it. I don't know. Give me a card for Aqua. <clears throat> so we have in reverse, Angels of the Four Directions. Okay, so that's in the reverse. Then we have Fragmented Energy. So let's see. you so it says uriel Raphael, michael and gabriel so the reverse meaning of this card it says this card reverse brings you the magnificent power of archangels michael and gabriel archangel michael the archangel of the south can touch your life with strength and stability you may be experiencing a situation in which you've been feeling a loss of power but now is the time to turn that around call on michael to help you deal with any feelings of insecurity whether physical personal or financial yeah. I mean, this could be you too, but I don't know. I feel like that's a bitch up there. <laughs> like, um, this is a time of major shifts. Believe in yourself and take action on your own behalf. Michael will infuse you with the strength you need to rise. This card reverse also brings Gabriel, the Archangel of the West. He is the angel of communication and he can be of assistance in communication projects and careers. He can also help you engage your self-talk, engage in the optimistic and self-honoring language that you know you deserve. Gabriel will help make your self-loving language a reality. He can also empower you to speak up to others. If you have the habit of shutting down or even if there's just something you need to express, now is the time to open up. Sometimes Michael and Gabriel join together to assist in this endeavor. Michael brings the courage and Gabriel brings the words. So get ready. I'm going to say, what is that? It says, so get ready. It's time to speak your truth. Yeah. So your affirmation is, it says, I invite the power and wonderful energy of, name the angel here. So whatever angel you you want to add right there. And then it says, I ask for help and heal. I ask for help and healing concerning name the issue here and I give thanks okay so whichever angel you want to call upon whichever angel you want to call upon <clears throat> but there's something about your creative pursuits and your need to speak up here or this is you I mean or this is somebody you're dealing with I feel like you you could also be marrying a karmic like you're marrying back to them that they are fucking doofus because it's like somebody really thinks that you don't know what the fuck they're doing it's like they're trying to be funny you know they're trying to be sneaky about the shit that they're doing but I feel like you're marrying back to them what they're doing to you just in a calm way like you're not really doing shit to them but it's like you're subconsciously letting them know like yeah i see your ass like you're not doing whatever you think that you're doing you know what i'm saying like somebody get really dumb but anyways aquarius this was your reading man <laughs> okay i hope it resonated for you like comment subscribe turn your notification bell on press the all button so you won't miss my reads and i'll talk to you later bye